In this video, I'm going to talk about turning dissatisfaction into a brand new direction. So anywhere in your life where you're feeling totally stuck and have no idea what to do next, yeah, I've been there too. It's like being lost in a fog with no clue which way to turn. But I'm here to tell you that there is a way out because the bottom line is this. We've all been there, felt frustrated, stuck, and dissatisfied with life. It's a common experience, but it doesn't have to be permanent. The good news is that dissatisfaction can actually be your greatest motivator. Motivator? How so? Because when you know how to harness it and you can turn that restlessness or that low energy into the fuel you need to create a meaningful change. So first off, why do we feel dissatisfied? Well, let's get real. Dissatisfaction often comes from the following. Either we have unfulfilled expectations. When things don't go the way we planned, it's easy to feel like you hit a wall. Have you been there? I know I have. Lack of purpose. If you're not living in alignment with your purpose, life can start to feel pretty, I don't know, empty. Fear of change. We resist stepping outside of our comfort zones, but staying stagnant is a recipe for a lot of dissatisfaction. Also comparing ourselves to others. We've all fallen into the comparison trap, whether it's on social media or in our daily lives. It can make us feel like, I don't know, we're just not measuring up. Ever feel like that? So how does dissatisfaction show up in our lives? Well, dissatisfaction can show up in sneaky ways, impacting everything from our mood to our relationships, to our level of productivity. And you might notice low self-esteem. You're constantly feeling like you're not enough. Anxiety and stress, the feeling of being on edge all the time. And in relationship struggles, you know what? That inner frustration can easily spill over into the way you interact with even the ones you love, right? So I worked with a client, a perfect example. He was feeling exactly the same way. So they were really super frustrated and unfulfilled. And he didn't know why, where to start. So we took a deep dive into their values and their passions. We figured out what really mattered to them and what they loved doing, what lit them up, and actually, more importantly, what kind of impact they wanted to make. And so once we had a clear picture, we set some goals, not just as big, fuzzy, airy-fairy goals, but some specific achievable ones. And we broke them down into smaller steps. But all of this was fueled by his desire to have a greater impact. And there went the overwhelm. Here's the kicker. We don't just plan goals. We also talked about flexibility, how he needed to be more flexible. And because the bottom line is this, life is full of surprises and sometimes we need to change course. That's okay. It's actually a good thing. And what's the secret to overcoming dissatisfaction? Well, it's adopting what I love to be called is the agility mindset. It's about embracing flexibility, setting achievable goals, and building resilience that bounce when life gets tough. So here's how. First, self-aware. We have to self-reflect. Get clear on what's really bugging you. Is it misaligned goal or fear of stepping into something new? Also, we can goal set in a new way. Really create these goals based on who you are and who you want to be. And putting them in bite size and starting in habits. Each step brings you closer to the life you want. Flexibility, be open to change, pivot when you need, and don't be afraid to take new approaches to old challenges. This is going to be crucial as we move into this fast-pacing new generational experiences we're all feeling. These are some of the ways that you can create setups for bouncing back. Also, you want to take purposeful action. It's time to stop dreaming. I want to do it someday and start today. With these small actions, just today, you can be closer to the life you desire. So taking action now is I challenge you to think about where dissatisfaction is showing up in your life. What's one area that you can take action today? It doesn't have to be big. Sometimes the smallest steps lead to the biggest changes. If you want to dive in deeper into how you can harness your dissatisfaction and make real progress, 
let's chat. You can click on the link below and I look forward to helping you and supporting you and living a most fulfilled life. Please stay tuned for my new book, The Agility Mindset, coming soon. Thanks a lot. I'm Kate McKay, high performance coach and agility mindset expert. Looking forward to talking to you. Please make sure you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.